In this problem, we're being asked to find a linear differential operator that annihilates this function. So in order to do that, it might be easier to first distribute this x cubed. So x cubed times 1 will give us x cubed. And then x cubed times minus 5x will give us minus 5x to the fourth. So big D is our differential operator, and it means we take the derivative. In order for an operator to annihilate a function, we have to take the derivative enough times to where we get zero. So we can just use a power of big D in this case. Because we have uh, an x to the fourth power, we just need to go one higher in terms of derivative. So d to the five will completely annihilate this function, and it will make this zero. So if we take the derivative five times, uh, we will annihilate this function. Let's go ahead and check. So if we take the derivative once, we apply big D once, we have big D x cubed minus 5x to the fourth. Using the power rule for differentiation, this would be 3x squared minus 20x cubed. Just 4 times 5 is 20, if everything looks good. Doing it again, x cubed minus 5x to the fourth. So derivative here would be 6x minus 60x squared. I could have called this y, and then this would be y prime, and this would be y double prime. So I'm using this cumbersome notation just to get used to the, you know, get you used to the differential notation. So d cubed, the differential operator notation of x cubed minus 5x to the fourth. So this would be 6 minus, and then 2 times 60 is 120, so 120x. Getting there, <laughs> d to the fourth, x cubed minus 5x to the fourth. And that's just derivative of 6 is 0, and then here we just get negative 120. One more time and we got it. d to the 5 applied to x cubed minus 5x to the fourth, and the derivative of a constant is 0. So this means, this equation means that d to the 5 annihilates this function. I hope this video has been helpful.